All right, welcome back, boys and girls. Welcome to this mini course on Chakra UI. So Chakra UI right now has become my favorite uh, UI component library to use to build React apps. And in this mini series, I would like to introduce Chakra UI to you and I wanna show you how powerful and awesome this library is. So the first thing is, what is Chakra UI? So from their website, they say it's a simple, modular, and accessible component library. And I guess these are the three really main selling points here. It's simple, modular, and 100% accessible, which makes it really, really awesome. But that really doesn't tell the whole story. There are so many other things that are good about Chakra UI. This library is developed by Sigwin Adibayo and he is an awesome developer. Give him a follow on Twitter. He's a really, really cool guy and his work with Chakra UI is 100% spot on. Now, why is Chakra UI very, very special? Why do I think it's worth your time to take a look at this and maybe integrate it into your daily workflow? Now, the first thing that I like about Chakra UI is the fact that it's, it is based on styled systems. Now, if you haven't heard of style systems, well, that's actually fair enough because style systems are usually the base of other UI libraries, but it's not really, it's rarely heard of or rarely used on its own, I guess. But style systems are really great kind of infrastructure to use to build a UI component library because it just makes so many things much easier. And in fact, many of the things that I love about Chakra UI are just inherited from style systems. One of these things is that style systems have their own theme specifications. And this is a great idea in which they have come up with this specifications of a specific theme that if you follow that specific theme specifications, you can actually theme your app into different themes or you can download different themes and so on. And another library that's also used and using style system and it's based on the same theme specifications is also theme UI. And I've had some experience with theme UI and it's perfect, but I believe that Chakra UI is even the next step up from theme UI. All right, great. The second thing about Chakra UI is the fact that it is strongly type components. And you will see what I mean by this shortly, but that means that it will result in much cleaner code base and you will rarely have to use the CSS prop. And the whole point here is that most of the components, in fact, all the components have the main CSS properties that you want to assign to them as props. So you will find yourself just using that and rarely ever have to use, write CSS. The third thing is that, like I said, it supports the use of themes out of the box. So this is a themable library out of the box and it comes with a very standard theme that's actually really, really handy that is based on Tailwind UI. So, and you will see that as we use it um, in the next video. And, and one of the things that I really love also about Chakra UI is the fact that it supports dark mode out of the box. So all the components support dark, dark mode. And in fact, implementing dark mode in Chakra UI is extremely, extremely simple. And you will love how easy it is to just get your, all your apps having um, dark mode very simply. And also it comes with almost 40 plus components and you will see us exploring up some of these components in the next couple of videos. And in fact, this many course is never gonna cover all the components, but it's just gonna be a good introduction. And in fact, this is one of the things that I really also love about Chakra AI, that it makes responsive design a breeze. And this is something that Chakra AI gets from style systems as well, but you will never have to write media queries again. Everything will done automatically in a way that you will love to read. Trust me, you will really, really like this. And this one, to me, I put it as a bonus, but for me, this is a very, very important thing, which is that the documentation on this library is really, really organized. I find myself whenever I'm using a UI library, I'm spending a lot of time on the documentation and this specific library really, really, they have overdone themselves when they did the documentation. It's really good. I think the only thing that's missing is a search bar but otherwise it's a really solid website where you can just go in and see whatever you want to look at and learn from them specifically. All right, so what are we gonna be building? So to be clear, this mini course is not really about building stuff, it's just about showing you what you can build with this absolute monstrous of a uh, library and how easy it is to build stuff that are really, really complicated in a very, very simple manner. However, to, to demonstrate these 
principles, I guess. I'm gonna be just doing this extremely, extremely simple website. Here I just have a nav bar, and this is running on the local host, and I have four things that I'm gonna show you here. So the home we will play here a little bit, and then we have a form here, and this is a sign up and a login form. And yeah, this is just a very standard thing. It tells you this is needed and all that stuff. It's a very, very standard thing. And here you will see a demo of this card. So this is a card that I would actually kind of use to show this um course itself and the last thing here this is kind of a list and the whole point of this list is that it adjusts from being flex of direction row to flex of direction colon based on uh based on uh the size of the screen and this is something that you always need to do whenever you're using flexbox so in small screens you want to use it in colon and in big screens you want to use it in row and this is really 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 simple using chakra ui and the last thing i want to show you here is the fact that everything here is actually dark mode compatible with very little lines of code written so everything you write here and everything you design here is already compatible with dark mode and also everything is 100 percent accessible so i can navigate through this website just using the tab bar like that so just using the tab bar i can just navigate through the whole thing i can go back to home i can go back to card and so on so yeah this is what you get from using chakra ui and just to drive the point home i want to show you this example that they have on their website in which they have duplicated uh the airbnb car design and that card is written in all these lines only so to get all of that done and all that css styling and everything here is done throughout these i don't know like less than 20 or 28 lines or something and this is the power of Chakra UI, and this is exactly what we're going to be exploring in the next video. I'll see you guys shortly.